John, we now know that Sabina Nessa was off to meet a friend locally. She left her home and police believe she was murdered in the park behind me here. Now, it was a journey which should have taken just five minutes, but she never arrived. Speaking to women here, they say there is a desperately sad familiarity to all of this. As the local council have now issued hundreds of rape alarms, there is criticism from some that once again this own assist seems to be on women's safety rather than male violence. As tonight, police continue their investigation. Sabina Nessa was kind and talented, her family said. She loved her job as a primary school teacher and was absolutely dedicated to the children she taught. On Friday night, Miss Nessa was murdered minutes from her home. She was 28. We now know that that night Sabina Nessa was off to meet a friend. She left her home, which is just two minutes from here, and walked through this park. She was heading to a local pub, which is just behind the trees here. The journey should have taken, police said, around five minutes, but she never made it. Miss Nessa's body was found the next day in the same park in South East London by a passerby. Police believe the teacher may have been murdered by a stranger. Maybe you saw someone acting strangely inside the park or running away from it. If you were in the area, please think back and let us know if you have any information. You will see that we have an extensive crime scene in place and we expect it to be here for the next couple of days. The billboards inviting families to move here now a crime scene, while women who walk the same route as Sabina Nessa are shocked, but sadly not surprised. You can't plan around that, can you? She's just going to meet someone at the pub at a perfectly normal time of day. Um, yeah, I just... My heart goes out to her family, because how can you account for something like that? Um, yeah. It's quite scary, really, isn't it? Yeah. There isn't sort of like a, a safe route to take. You make sure that you get a taxi or, you know, you, you do take your precautions. And yet lots of the women that are being murdered, we're told often, have done everything right. How does that leave you feeling? Yeah. Um, exasperated, I suppose. Like, you feel kind of helpless and, and it feels kind of hopeless. Sabina Nessa's killing is depressingly familiar. A young woman just walking to meet a friend who never came home. Just like sisters Bieber Henry and Nicole Smallman, who were stabbed to death in a park last year by a stranger. And only months ago, the killing of Sarah Everard, just walking home when serving police officer Wayne Cousins kidnapped and murdered her. As hundreds of rape alarms have been handed out locally here by Greenwich Council, anger from some that once again the focus seems to be on women's safety rather than male violence. It's not good enough for us to accept a situation where the response is to manage this problem. We have to prevent it. Violence against women and girls in all its forms is one of the most prevalent crimes in our society. Rape alarms, street lights, even the popular idea of making misogyny a hate crime would have done almost nothing to protect Sabina. While earlier this week, police arrested a man in his 40s on suspicion of murder, who was later released under further investigation. Detectives are now appealing for anybody who saw anything unusual to come forward, as Sabina Ness's family are said to be inconsolable. And tomorrow there will be a vigil in her memory. People are being asked to light a candle here and on doorsteps in memory of the 28-year-old.